नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू एसकॉर्स ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग चैनल आई एम हर्षवर्धन एंड दिस इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी सीरीज टुडे इज एपिसोड इज ऑन पेस्टिसाइड्स वी हैव मिस्टर आर माधवन एन एग्री एक्सपर्ट एज वेल एज एन इंजीनियर सिंस लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स ही हैज बीन डूइंग हिज ओन फार्मिंग सक्सेसफुली सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट पेस्ट कंट्रोल एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स in this episode welcome mr madhavan over to you thank you thank you arshan uh, what we are going to discuss today is about pest management is very important and uh, we have to be very cautious in using this wonderful tool uh, it is like this see we get corona and we have to clearly identify which antiviral is to be given and uh, many research have to go prior to give it to the people with various things so r and d plays a very vital role so corona is a pest for us and the plant has pest for themselves like some other corona may may not be corona it is called the many other names which the pests are there attacking them both virus fungal and pest all three attack human beings as well other living organisms so plant is not missed out of that now at least we can say you know we are having symptoms and talk so we are actually one step ahead of a plant whereas plant cannot talk we have to talk on behalf of plant okay otherwise the plant will only say you know show wilting so it can't say whether it has a stomach pain headache corona malaria cholera chikungunya etc etc so it is very very important to identify whether the plant has what type of a sickness it has like human being identifying we are, we go through many test to identify whether you have a cholera whether you have a malaria whether you have a typhoid so we are, we test and then get the results so plant show results on their leaf behavior pattern their productivity area and their performance on the whole whether they are sick or healthy before starting of uh, pest management as a whole i would like to mention one important key if the plant is healthy see now it's a very apt time to talk about pest management because every channel every television every radio every media now says immune system immune system immune everybody is barking like a dog immune system right so yeah. what is immune system what is immune system we are talking about healthy food but now after getting corona you take healthy food corona is not going to stop which means what the healthy life has to come from from your childhood eat healthy exercise all the nutrient then immune system is good so they can resist certain types of bacteria and viruses which are attacking now so now you understand what important role nutrients play in plant so by applying proper nutrient to the soil the crop can withstand certain amount of disease that is immune system immunity of the plant is built up through nutritional programs now we all know every doctor says you have to take protein you have to take this you have to take then you you can fight corona so that means what food plays a very vital role in fight against any pathogens any virals so we have to eat nourish you know nutritional food plays a role in fighting against any pandemic exactly it is same for the crop so now if you have understood in my previous episodes how important the nutrients are how to test the soil how to balance it for a crop specific then you have done 30 to 40% of your pest management already done right from the beginning you might have heard my previous uh, episodes land preparation so it starts there if I, if the land is prepared very well then the rooting system takes beautifully that means that's a immunity system part of plant immunity the next you are taking the soil analysis then the next is next immunity system for plants the third one comes your proper application of soil nutrients then the fourth one comes irrigation 
proper irrigation i i think i mentioned that in my irrigation chapter by not properly irrigating you are inviting pathogens when i say pathogens they are nothing but fungal infections pest infections these are born by also by the excess moisture so i have to repeat this again for you to get a very clarity on this the pest management is you have to take care the previous steps and not when you get sick it's no use when you already get corona then you run for your immunity functioning and all that no go you have to go through a corona get it treated for it and then come back to build your immunity system whereas what we are trying to tell you for the crop it should go for human beings also address them before they get anything right now, now i'm going to only give you an example comparing human being so that you come very clearly on how important this plant pesticide is pesticide is is equal to human medicines please understand that very clearly what are the human medicines antibiotics anti fungal creams anti viral drugs mm. etc these are all human beings pesticides what are the pesticides for crops there are many which you can list which is available in the market for various pest and diseases by the various companies so we have we have got into this area we have to understand how to keep plant healthy henceforth you keep pest away from it now you have done that even then you get sick right for example you eat very well you exercise even then you get sick then what do you do for it sanitation now everybody says right from the prime minister to the lower level uh, staff in the government segment and various ngos what do they say sanitation what is sanitation you put mask why are you putting mask first you don't infect others second you don't be infected by others that means it is a sanitation so and why what is washing of soap sanitation mm -hmm. so exactly same thing you have to do for crop also sanitation what are the sanitations in crop like putting a mask for us and cleaning so cleaning is keep the bund surrounding area of your plot clean one two what is the next one which you can do keep the plant healthy and suppress other organism within the fields let me make it very clear when i say other organism don't you know jump that those for those words other organism means don't have any rodents like rats mm. bandicoots all they you know they disrupt your crop they eat mm. away your crop why are they doing that because you are inviting them if your house is not clean you know naturally you get all the pest into your house correct right. so you you keep your house clean they don't come to the clean house you know they shy away they go away same way if you can keep the bund clean all the rodent is kept out they are you know they don't come in so sanitation plays a vital role in pest management i hope you know these are the basic steps which you have to take and they contribute to 50% of your pest management please remember the steps i have mentioned in the last few minutes can take you to 50% of your pest management now in india we are very lucky we have sun you know we should be thankful to sun god best sun available on earth only for india no other country can claim this and you know that's a wonderful natural tool we have what you can do is after your final crop prior to summer before summer plow the land and leave the land solarization so the sun comes and burns all the fungal and other infections within the soil area so it makes it clean for you free of cost they are not hiding there and no country can claim this only in india you can make this but the only thing is you have to you know address with mechanical tools so that is the reason we have the tools go and plow it with a 9 tine or 11 tine or whatever that whether it is a shallow or deep if possible i would even recommend you sizzle it no problem you sizzle that at that point of time if the moisture is available 
and leave the three weeks you know where the sun reaches almost 40 40 plus i used to do that in my farm i have you know number of root born diseases 80% of root born diseases killed there what more you want so these are the steps you take not to get infection in your soil not to get crops infected so now this part is clear like we have to get immunity not to get the corona but even then you get what to do then you have medicines to take properly please understand basic things i will put it down not too scientifically very very basic plant get pest plant get fungal infection plant get viral infection these three plant get it i will put one one example on your choice if you are a cotton farmer you will have a boll worm if you are a cabbage farmer or tomato farmer or a paddy farmer you will have also worms so these are called pesticides anything which is moving now what is fungal fungal is attacked by the leaf root stem pollen etc like us we also get uh, fungal infection like like you see we we may get uh, some ring worm type or something on our skin on our joints because of hygiene and what do the doctor give you for that a cream what is that cream fungicide but of course you put some perfume in it and then name a different uh, category and then you say oh why god that's wonderful oh this is horrible but it is a fungicide simple as simple as that i may put some little sa- sandalwood the, so it will give a sandal smell oh wonderful the, nothing of all that soft it is a fungicide when you get a sour throat sore throat doctor gives you what antibiotics so that is a pest so plant you please understand pest fungal viral now viral is infected see now you know i don't have to talk about uh, viral because now you have heard about this viral for 6 months now how is they are getting into propagated and you cannot see them you see you cannot see a virus but, i mean not through a naked eye but you can look at through a microscopic view that's a different thing so naked eye is not possible now this viral is actually carried by some carrier in the case of plant i give you one small example vector they are called vector vector is nothing but carriers they are not infected but they will carry this virus and when they attack you or when they attack the plant then the plant gets that viral infection will i'll start with pesticide in pesticide there are two basic categories please remember that whenever you go to a pesticide shop see why am i stressing this it's very important because what you produce is eaten by you and your brethren you know your your brothers and sisters mother and grandfather they are all eating your food right when i say this you are supplying to the humanity so you have to be very careful when using these tools if you misuse it you are killing not only yourself but the rest of your own people your own humanity you are killing them so you have to be very careful on using those wonderful tools now pesticide systemic contact two basic things what is systemic and what is contact systemic when you given it you know we also have that i don't want to go into medical area and not a medical profession but i know how to eat it because when i get sick my doctor gives me so i eat that's how i understand this but for plants it is exactly the same when they get a pest systemic that means if i make the plant giving the systemic medicine the whole entire plant gets poison that means when you are applying systemic harvesting should not be there please remember that many farmers when i travel across india they spray systemic even during harvest please don't do it it is not recommended advisable because what you are producing is eaten by our own people animals you know we feed that to our animal we feed it to our people we give it to our friends so don't poison you know them i know you are not doing it intentionally but please be aware what is systemic and what is contact contact now what is contact it targets the pest 
supposing a worm is there when i apply contact pesticide it just kills that worm and the poison drops down it is not holding on to the crop for a longer time so such things you can use during harvest during initial stages right when the crop is growing you're not going to harvest for anything for the first 60 days of your crop then you can go with a systemic so they take care for 15 days 20 days 25 days you're not going to harvest anything please read the leaflet supplied by the vendor carefully each slip has 10 languages whatever languages you want english hindi marathi gujarati kannada telugu tamil malayalam everything is written there please go through that or ask somebody to read it for you whether that is systemic or contact keeping that in mind keeping your harvest attack them first of all find out whether the plant has a pest or a fungal infection in one of my tour to maharashtra i think uh, western part of maharashtra they were growing brinjal and a farmer was spraying something i am going to show you that example to you you know on the picture it is shown what is that brinjal is if you see a black mark on that brinjal the farmer was saying you know i have to spray this because my brinjal is getting this black mark in the skin so the buyer is not buying it from me i have to spray this this is what i i, I was recommended by a shop or a friend or i don't know through whom you are i said first of all this black mark is not a pest or a fungal it is a nutritional disorder please remember this now you are spraying fungicide but the problem is nutritional will ever you be solving this no way so you keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping you know the poison into it you're not going to see any results because the problem is nutritional disorder not the fungal fungal is a secondary say for example you get bruise in your hand you 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 have fallen down right so that is primary now when you get a pus in it the pus is secondary now what do you treat the moment you fall down you take a shot see that you are not infected similarly the nutritional disorders calcium that picture of my brinjal which i saw in maharashtra is shown on the screen it is a calcium deficiency and now for calcium deficiency technical name for this particular problem is called blossom end rot now this is a nutritional disorder and not fungal disorder but what are you doing you are spraying fungicide for treating this you will never get treated this what you have to address apply sufficient calcium into your soil then the, the crop is not going to get that problem at all so be very judicious in applying pesticide is called plant medicines you be very cautious very careful what is it that i am applying see you are not just swallowing a tablet Uh, you know just on the road you are asking for a doctor you see you are taking some seniors advice on it and then only you are taking it you are not taking just indiscriminately some tablet swallowing you know what happens similarly the crop is happening but the crop cannot talk it can only give you the results and finally you will be at a loss exactly the same way fungicides do have systemic and contact fungicides most of the 75% of your fungal infections are caused by your excess irrigation i spoke about irrigation in my previous chapter most of the fungal disease caused by this see that's why in my irrigation note i have mentioned it you are irrigating to bring down the productivity i i mentioned this word you irrigate bring down the productivity how pest attack plant sleep etc so now to avoid that is careful irrigation will minimize your fungal infections most important in pest management which everybody is aware but not practicing it unfortunately seed treatment seed is not treated with the seed borne diseases we all say you know seed treatment seed treatment but we are not doing it for simple reason we don't have a tool so we are planning actually the escorts will is working on it r and d is working on getting out 
a seed treatment drum so you can any seed whether mustard mustard to maize you know the size variation i'm i'm talking of sizes the mustard you know how much what is the size and go up to maize and you can see treat now what are the advantages by treating the seed you are getting the healthy the transplants healthy start for a crop it is like i am always comparing this with human beings so that you will understand it much more clearer because your day day to day life for your child now the moment child is born it is given a shot diphtheria anti diphtheria anti malarial so these are given chicken pox and medicine for uh, jaundice anti jaundice so these are given every month every two months every three months the child is given these shots you might have done it for your children at home similarly you have to do seed treatment see now seed is a child seed is a baby now you have to t- it is a living baby you have to treat it so that the external pathogens or external pest don't attack them so they sprout up and you get population now what is population i put say 10000 seeds in my farm in one acre for example out of 10000 i should get at least 9500 to 9900 plants sitting there how do you do that initially the crop the seed when they sprout they are vulnerable you know they are attacked by many uh, intruders because they are very fragile very small ones like our babies so we protect them because at that stage anything can happen to them the child can get easily catch a cold or a diarrhea or anything can happen at that stage so we protect them in all way so the seed treatment is exactly same in protecting the young crops thereby bringing the population to 95 to 98% that means whatever you have put there as a seed or as a transplant as a material to grow you must have the optimum population optimum population is equal to optimum productivity now handling these pest tools will enhance your productivity now comes next weed side that comes under herbicide weed side all are same they also come under pest category or rather i bring it into a pest category because weed particularly is a pest to you like last time i mentioned paddy crop in a wheat field is a pest so you have to remove this so weeds we decide you please understand there are three types basically like i mentioned it in the fungicide and pesticides we decide pre emergence they called pre emergence i will just give you very briefly and the next is post emergence pre emergence post emergence the third one translocating and the fourth one all killer let me put a pre emergence now whenever you applying uh, we decide you have to understand what are all the types of weeds you get in your field based on that you apply your pre emergence what is pre emergence you can do it along with the seed the moment you sow the seed you can apply this pre emergence that means it will allow the weeds to kill and the crop to germinate post emergence what do the post emergence do even after germinating you can apply this post emergence be very careful be extremely careful and reading the leaflet while you apply these tools say as i mentioned earlier fire is a good tool fire you know fire is a good tool but if you don't use it properly it will burn your house but if you use it properly you can eat so don't blame the fire when you misuse it burning the house no no fire is dangerous fire is not dangerous provided you have used it properly fire to be used cautiously to make your food or to make your hot water or etc etc but if you have carelessness you can set fire to the whole village or you know kill yourself in the bargain similarly this herbicides if you are not using it properly the post emergence you can lose the entire crop entire crop can be wiped out say for example post emergence now i can give you one small example then you can differentiate that when, when you are buying it or when you are looking at it i'll give you one crop details and the crop will be i i'm sh- i'm going to show the crop also to you on to my screen corn crop 
corn is you know you just see the corn that is about 15 days old corn crop and you see the clean field i have applied pre emergence called atrazen uh, you know the name i am going to type it atrazen you can think about this is called pre emergence now when you apply the moment you sow the corn it is very clean for the first 25 days you can see the field now which is on the screen it's absolutely clean and only the corn emerges now sometimes you know rain can play a havoc or you you are you are not in a position to spray etc etc now along with the you are not able to spray the pre and you have seen both i mean corn and the weeds are both competing together coming up which is going to kill your entire crop now for which you can apply post emergence herbicides post emergence herbicide for corn say for example there are number of uh, herbicides for post i will let you know on that uh, crop post emergence herbicide for corn l a u d i s laudis this is just to give you a reference you know i was just looking at a correct name for it you know the correct trade name so laudis l a u d i s this is post emergence you can apply on top of a corn crop except corn crop all the other weeds will perish will die so you have to understand what is pre and post with my details giving you on this now i say non selective translocating i will be showing a picture of a particular weed i'm sure the moment you look at the picture which is on the screen you know this weed is across india all over the fields i know that they are giving you a menace and it is not that easy to eradicate and they compete with crop you know i know this you i mean the moment you see the weed which i have shown you you will recognize what is that the name of that is called cypress rotundus you know english name for it cypress rotundus now what is this cypress rotundus is a bulbous weed it has got a bulb underneath so any amount of shallow plowing or this it's not going to be eradicated for such type of weeds we normally take another tool which is called translocating herbicide so see i am giving you all this details the moment when you go to a shop or to a vendor or to a place to buy it you please remember that there are these things are available then you can choose instead of going blind and you know the depending on what the shop fellow is going to give you if he is a good man he can give you but he can cheat also there is every possible way for doing that but if you are aware hey there is something for this there is something for this then at least he will be you know oh this particular farmer knows certain things and i have to be careful and give him those only now this translocating means when it is applied on to the green pigment of the crop that is green leaf it absorbs only through green leaf and transports it to the root it's not going to be on the soil see there are tools available like pre emergence will act on a soil post emergence semi translocating not at all so if you apply on a ground nothing will happen it can only act on a green surface anything green is burnt so when you apply that you have to be careful our crop is also green it will also get burnt you have to select properly and address this with the translocating it is called translocation we decide killing perennial weeds the fourth one which we are talking about knockdown you know like gramaxon it is called gramaxon you please remember this it is available across gramaxon is nothing but a paraquat you know paraquat is an active ingredient of it and uh, normally this this can act as a desiccant also you know in some of the fields they use it as a desiccant now say if you are having a problem with the weeds during rainy season right it is drizzling you are not able to apply it because it is wet now during such time you can take this tool and apply it carefully on to the target weeds you get eradicated i'm going to you know expect lot to push with too many things to you i have briefed you various segments on what pesticides are what are the pesticides you know don't get frightened don't get cheated you know don't be panicking but be very careful while handling It's a healthy environment free of pests necessary for the plants to grow and produce 
this is what you have to give them you know this atmosphere like the healthy environment like us we need a healthy environment for us to perform better if the environment is not healthy polluted will i function normally no it's not a question of me you know when i am saying i am i represent the rest of you i i take you as a part of me the same way if you can have an healthy environment for the plant to grow they will be disease free pest free then their performance is optimum finally i will say a word and then i'll close this chapter and i'll look forward for the questions and whether i can clarify on those doubts on it so finally what my word is please do not use indiscriminately pesticides on the crop because that's going to be on a food chain please remember that we are all very responsible citizens you know we farmers are very very responsible because we are producing food and that food is eaten by billions of hungry people so it is our karma to be very very uh, careful on using these wonderful tools thank you thank you very much sir today you have given a wonderful and a productive information on pesticides especially how to use pesticide how much to use and when to use and most importantly you should use pesticides in such a way it should be beneficial to everybody but over usage of this pesticides will lead into greater losses thank you very much i would request all the farmers you have any queries from your end or any suggestion please write in the comment box below this video we'll soon be coming up with the answers in the form of video coming friday thank you very much